Election 80, the Republican primary for Broome County Executive, with Karen Hasby and Tom Anthony. Good evening. On September 9th, Republicans in Broome County will go to the polls and choose one of two men to represent them in the race for Broome County Executive. The Republican candidate will then face Democratic incumbent Donald McManus in November. Tonight, the two Republican hopefuls are here with us. Alfred Libus is currently the mayor of Binghamton, as he has been for the past 11 years. Carl Young is the Republican majority leader of the Broome County Legislature. He's been in the legislature for eight years. Tonight's debate will be conducted as follows. Each of the candidates will have time for a two-minute opening statement. It was decided by a coin toss earlier that Carl Young would go first. Then Tom and I will direct questions to the candidates, beginning again with Mr. Young. Each candidate will have a minute and a half to answer the question. Is that His opponent will then have a minute and a half to respond. At the end of the show, each candidate will have two minutes to sum up. Mayor Libis will sum up first. The candidates will be getting time cues as they speak, and a buzzer will sound when their time is up. So we'll first begin with an opening statement from Mr. Young. Thank you very much, Karen. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, WSKG for providing Al and me, myself with the opportunity to uh, appear before the public because I think in order for an intelligent decision to be made in a contest like this, it's important for people to see the candidates in an even-up kind of a setting uh, with, without the uh, intermediary of media people going back and forth and gathering statements and so forth. WSKG-TV, Binghamton. Welcome to Election 86 and the first in a series of face-to-face -face encounters among the contenders for the major offices on this November's ballot. I'm Bill Jaker and we are beginning now with candidates for the state legislature from Broome and Tioga counties. Running in the 123rd Assembly District are the incumbent Assemblyman Richard Miller, a Republican, and his Democratic challenger Robert Lamer. And here to question them on the issues in this campaign are E.J. Consola II of the Press and Sun Bulletin and Bob Joseph of WNBF Radio. And as we're going to be doing in all of these debates, the candidates will each have two minutes for an opening statement and then we'll be asking questions uh, which each candidate will have two minutes to answer plus a one minute rebuttal period and then we'll be having closing statements of a minute or so. Now, just before the broadcast, the candidates drew lots to choose the order of appearance. The draw was won by Richard Miller, and so now here is his opening statement. Assemblyman Miller, you have two minutes. Uh, thank you. I would like to thank WSKG for hosting this forum and allowing me this opportunity to speak with the constituents and the voters of the 123rd Assembly District. Now the Democratic candidate, Robert Lamer. Mr. Lamer, you have two minutes. Thank you and good evening. There are three key elements of an assemblyman's job. First, there's working on statewide issues. Secondly, there's working on legislative issues which relate to the district. And thirdly, there's helping constituents. All right, thank you, sir. Those were the opening remarks by the candidates for state assembly in the 123rd district. And now we're going to go to our questions. Bob Joseph has the first question, which will be directed first to, Rich, uh, to uh, Robert Lamer. Bob? Uh, Mr. Lamer, in the months since the fatal accident on the Johnson City traffic circle, there's been a lot of discussion about what steps might be taken to improve safety. You feel the state transportation officials are taking the appropriate steps so far, and what do you feel might offer the best solution to the problems posed by the Route 201 traffic circle? I uh, am very troubled by... Uh a person's death at the traffic circle. 
Let's get on to the uh, next question from uh, E.J. Consola II, political reporter for Press and Sun Bulletin. Ed, your question directed first to Mr. Miller. Okay. New York State is expected to receive a windfall of up to $2 billion from the federal tax reform. Uh, political leaders of both parties have said that they don't want that money to end up in the state coffers. They want it to go back to the people, but they disagree on how. How would you like to see the state handle that big windfall that's coming? All right, and Mr. Gonzola, I think you've stated the problem correctly. You know, Art Scene has been on the air for over two years now. We've done something like 110 programs. And in all that time, the format has always remained the same, always featuring great stories. Like on this week's program, we'll be finding out about the Glimmerglass Opera Theater's plans to build a permanent opera house. Truly a show that features a wide look at all the artistic happenings in this region. It just goes to show, when you've got something good, you stick with it. WSKG-TV, Binghamton.